I was, I was injured in July of 2007. Uh, I was out on patrol uh, with my uh, battalion commander, battalion sergeant major. Uh, I got hit with a roadside bomb um, in the face. It took out my right eye. Um, it uh, blasted my frontal bone, my forehead out. Uh, my sinuses have been rebuilt. Uh, my palate was blasted out. My cheekbone was blasted out. All my teeth were replaced on my left side of my mouth. And uh, I just remember during that time frame um, of, of trying to figure out what happened, um, you know, if I was going to live. What's up, buddy? You want to go fishing? Want to go fishing? Project Healing Waters, um, it gave me an opportunity to find that inner peace that I was uh, really needing in the midst of a of a very dark storm. Um, it was an opportunity for me to be by myself with nature uh, and being exposed to many elements of nature that were kind of overwhelming my senses in a positive way. Uh, unlike the confines of a city and the confines of, of the mental chaos from PTSD, uh, which are an overwhelming the senses in a negative way. The other side that doesn't get as much publicity is, is when we're in the midst of a snowstorm and we're all meeting together at Walter Reed or we're all meeting together at the VA and time flies. Um, we're continuing to work on our dexterity, continuing to, to, to create bonds. Um, and early on, when I, when I first started trying to tie ties, it was, it was virtually impossible. It, it, it took me uh, a long time to do very menial tasks as far as getting, getting going. It was a huge challenge when you're out on the stream and your hands are cold and you got this little bitty fly and you got this really small line. You're trying to trying to make it happen with, with your eyes tearing up or with my eye tearing up. Um, it was challenging, but the reward is is worth it. And it, it, it's what keeps you going and it's what keeps you coming back. And it's the excitement of, of, of being with the guys and the excitement of, of the camaraderie that goes with it.